How's it going everyone? I just wanted to say which multi-tool stays in my pocket at all times uh, out of these four. These are like the most, you know, known. You got the Leatherman Surge here coming in at like 12 and a half ounces. You got the Leatherman Charge, very similar to the Wave, only more premium. You got the Leatherman Arc, that's the newest one with the Magna Cut Steel. And you got the OG uh, Leatherman Super Tool, very similar to the Super Tool 300. Um, which multi-tool do I carry every day? And that would be the Leatherman Charge. I still carry this every day to this date. Um, I got this for sale on, where was it, Sportsman Warehouse for $119. Uh, really, really good deal. I had a, uh, you know, I posted this on my um, website or my uh, YouTube channel and, uh, I just thought it was a great deal. It came with the pocket clip as well. And the pocket clip doesn't really move too much. Uh, it held up really, really well. I love the G10 scales. Uh, not much flex to it either. But I'll talk about which tools I use the most on this multi-tool. And why I like it the best. I like the G10 scales. Really, really nice. Kind of plasticky. But it, it held up really, really well. Uh, in my pocket too, not many scratches, you can see. Very, very light too. This is 12 and a half ounces, but this stays in my house. This is eight ounces, so that's very, you, I mean, you can tell the difference there. Um, this is a little heavier, the Leatherman Arc with the uh, Magna Cut Steel, and this is a little heavier as well, the uh, Super Tool. All, you know, all multi-tools are um, great that I have here, but this is my favorite. And the most tool I use is probably this one, the uh, serrated blade. You got this V-shank, I love that. Uh, use I use this a lot, uh, especially with zip ties. You can just cut zip ties very, very easily. And I use zip ties a lot. Um, very cheap to use and, you know, it's great to have the zip ties. But I love this, the serrated blade. You can use this to cut rope as well. And it's a secondary blade. Um, this is really nice as well, the S30V blade. Um, I use that a lot as well. I don't know what that gunk is. Uh, but it held an edge really, really well. Not as nice as the, you know, Magna Cut Steel, but it still works just fine. Yeah, I think that's just goo, kinda. But yeah, that works just fine. Um, the saw I don't really use and the file I don't really use that much to be honest. This is the diamond coated file where you can sharpen knives on the go. So I don't use that that much. Pliers are really, really nice. Uh, a little smaller than the Surge's pliers, just the, you know, lengthwise of it. But, um, you got the interchangeable pliers as well, which is very handy in case you wire cut a lot. I don't. But I use the uh, tips a lot, you know, the uh, needle nose pliers to get into tight spaces. I think that's really, really nice to have. I love the ruler. I don't use it too, too much, but it's great to have in a pinch uh, to measure small things like bolts and stuff. This I use a lot as well. The uh, flat screwdriver and the bit. Um, you can get different bits for it as well. And... Uh, I think it's great. This I use a lot too, the uh, can opener, bottle opener combo. Uh, works really, really well. I think it's better than the ARCS can opener. Um, and you can wire strip, which is really, really nice. I like that. Uh, scissors are okay. Mediocre at best. They're pretty small, to be honest, but they work in a pinch for like wrapping presents or, you know, cutting. Um, wrapping paper whatnot this i really like um this locks too but all these tools lock which is nice um this is the micro bit driver you can use this on uh like batteries to interchange batteries on calculators um i mean use it on calculators to you know remove batteries and whatnot or small tool tools uh toys like uh, for your kids that have like small micro bit driver uh, inserts, this will work great. Uh, sunglasses as well, I used it on. 
pry bar, perfect. This works great. Um, prying cans, small things, so that's great. So I use pretty much, probably 90% of this tool, which is great. Uh, it's what I need in my everyday carry. It's very lightweight. And um, if I only had to have one multi-tool, I'd probably have this, the Leatherman Charge, to be honest. It stays in my pocket at all times. Um, it's very, very handy to me anyways, because I'm only carrying this. I'm not carrying an extra knife. And uh, it's got every tool I need. So it, it's all personal preference, uh, what you need. And this is what I need pretty much, uh, the Leatherman Charge. The Wave is fine too. It just doesn't have, you know, the V-shank hook, uh, which I like to have, like I was talking about before with the gut hook. But yeah, so this is the tool I carry in my pocket every day. Um, it never goes without, with, without me, basically. And uh, yeah, so... Let me know in the comments below which tool do you carry every day, uh, which which multi tool goes with you. It could be a knife, it could be, you know, even Knipix pliers, uh, whatever you prefer. But for me, it's the Leatherman Charge G10. I love that multi tool, and it's still my favorite, my number one multi tool. Uh, even the depth is perfect. I think it's just, I, I would, you know, rate it as a 9.5 out of 10. Just a solid, solid multi-tool. Especially when it was clearance at $119. $119, you can't beat. All right, thanks guys for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video. Um, thumbs up, it's much appreciative. And have a good weekend. Take care.